A big part of my personality is missing right now. All the memories will come back to you, George. What's important is... You're still here, alive. We are together now. It might be that you haven't yet made the association of all your memories, George. Can we use other ways to help him aside from the pictures and from his belongings? Here I am, telling you sincerely how much I love you. Not till I really cannot accept this until I'm sure how I really feel about you. What are you doing here? Are you pregnant? If I'm the father of that child, I'll take the responsibility. You must think this over. If you are definitely sure about your accusations... Okay, return it. The authority of the Wong family is still with George. I remembered something that Master Ming told me before, that a deep-seated tree... This could only mean one thing. George Wong is still alive. As it comes back to life, would signify the fall of the oldest tree. I know you've got a gun there in your bag. Go ahead and shoot. If my interpretation is correct, but if you are giving me orders to shoot you, then I will do it. Then it means that... I will not give it a second thought. Go ahead and shoot me. Edward Wong's happy days are finally over. Shoot me! Katharina, who else would probably want to kill me, aside from you? Who else? Well, could it be the ghost of George? With those grenades which suddenly appear out of nowhere and without a trace? And why would George's ghost haunt me? If he was to haunt someone, it would be you. Between the two of us, it's very obvious that you committed the bigger crime against your brother. Aren't you ashamed, Katarina? At your age now, you still believe in ghosts. It's not a ghost who will kill us. Not George's ghost. But something of flesh and blood. Someone who's alive. I only hope you won't be haunted by the ghost that you're referring to. It's only just the two of them left at the mansion. And it's not impossible that those two might end up killing each other. I have someone on the inside placing the gifts I have for them. Who's your contact from the inside? It's Emma. Her loyalty is still with us. I hope that you won't involve anyone else. If she gets caught, for sure, she will be punished by Edward. I only wanted to scare Uncle a little. I want him and Katarina to feel the dread I felt when they made it appear that I killed my own father. <sighs> William, please be careful. You might get carried away with how you play the game. You might end up having the bomb explode in your hands. Grace? What happened to you? Are you alright? It's nothing. What's wrong? Why are you crying? It's nothing. I just miss my mother and also Beg Beg, that's all. I haven't seen them in a long while, right? I feel fine. Do you want us to ask permission for Madame Helena? Uh, huh? So we can visit them? No, there's no need. It's fine. This will go away, Nato. I just miss them. Excuse me, I'll be okay. Counselor C, can having this joint foundation be the start of close ties again between the Wong and C families? Well, the Wong and C family go way back. And, um, we feel that whatever conflicts that happened before, we've set them aside. And in light of a greater and bigger responsibility to help the less fortunate. Thank you. What can you say about it, Mr. Wong? Uh, well, I hope that you would continue supporting the foundation. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome.
That was your favorite music piece. When we were still just sweethearts. You would always ask the orchestra to play this. And then... You will approach me and ask me to dance. Helena, did we like going to parties back then? What I mean to say is, did I know how to dance? You were a very good dancer. George, only your memories are lost. But dancing is still there in you. If you will try, your legs will just naturally follow. Helena, would you mind giving it a try? It might make my memory come back faster. You know, Helena, I consider myself lucky. The good spirits are kind to me. Imagine, I am with you here right now, dancing with you. What else can I ask for in life? I am really thankful for all the loving and caring that you've given me. George, hmm? please forgive me. Helena, why do I need to forgive you? Have you said something wrong to me? Promise me that, okay? I cannot bear to live without you. Thank you so much for all the things that you have done for me. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. drinking too much why don't you mind your own business if I am going to be your wife it's also my business that's exactly the reason why I'm drinking right now so I can forget the fact that you're the one I'm marrying and not grace
Hey. What are you doing here? Uh, Standing alone. Nothing. I was just thinking. Sometimes it feels good to be alone and reflect. Especially if the moon is out like this and the weather feels cool. If you will not stop your drinking, then I will join you. Elizabeth, what are you doing? Stop no, it! That's bad that. for the baby! Elizabeth, stop it! If you're concerned about the baby, then don't drink anymore! I wonder if you also think about me when the moon is out like this. Do you? Uh, I think I better go inside. I'm so happy that a lot of people attended, more than I expected. Well, I'm glad as well. There are people here I invited who I never expected to attend. You know what? I have good news for you. Because I have gotten so many pledges for you. For our... for our foundation. Whoa, that's great! So you mean we would be receiving a lot more than what we were expecting to give to our beneficiaries, right? That's amazing. Right. <laughs> there are so many generous people in the world today. Charles, you've been missing goal for many weekends now. Yes, I know. So this is what's keeping you busy lately, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. We've been doing a lot of preparations for this event. No matter what I do, it's always Charles Wong whom you prefer. What does he have that I can't make you fall in love with me, Anastasia? Actually... It's Anastasia who is more hands-on with this project. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. This is only a job. Don't take it personally. Winston! 
Winston! Don't! George? George? A gun. I did... I did hear it. I heard a gunshot. There's none. None. There was no gunshot. You were only dreaming. No, no. I was not dreaming. Helena. Helena. Do you know who shot me? Winston! Winston! Somebody please call a doctor! George, no one was trying to shoot you. Maybe it was all a bad dream. This wasn't a bad dream. I remember it now. It's coming back to me very slowly. Somebody shot me. George. I am George Wong! I was shot! George... George, get a hold of yourself. It's not good for you shot. to stress yourself. I was shot! George! George... But why was I shot? George Wong! Was shot! George... Please calm down. Please calm down. Here, where am I, Jeff? I'll stay with you. Charles, a man died right in front of me. What if I was the one who got shot? Please don't talk like that. I'm here to protect you. Anastasia? Anastasia, what's this commotion? What happened? Why is there blood all over your face? Harry, somebody got shot right in front of me. At our own event. He was a friend of Charles. It was horrible. He died right on the spot. That is more horrible than what happened to you. I'm sorry I was not here, Anastasia. Don't worry about it, Harry. I was there. Excuse us. Congratulations, Harry. The Chinese community is panicking right now. You don't have to thank me for anything, because first of all, killings of that sort have been going on in their circle for quite a while. It's just not in the news. <laughs> Harry, do you know who it is you killed? I was only doing my job. Someone ordered me to. Who ordered you to do it? Who am I talking to right now? That's where you are wrong, Harry. I did not order you to kill him. You took down someone that was not on the list. That normally happens, you know. I was only following what I was told to do. I was just sending a message that she will be next. Why don't you just finish off Anastasia? Maybe your hands are too sweaty. Or is your eyesight getting blurry? Is that the reason why you can't kill her Don't now? Don't you remember that the plan was to make her fall in love with me before I kill her? So why is it that you seem to be in a hurry to kill her off? I know that it will never happen anyway. You cannot make Anastasia fall for you because it was you who fell for her. That's why I'm telling you again, Harry, do your job. Kill Anastasia right away. If not, I'll be the one to kill her myself. The victim was sitting next to us. He fell down in front of her. She was really horrified by the incident. <sighs> Until I escorted her back to the Windsor, she was still shivering in fear. What did the police tell you? They're not done with the investigation. I don't think this was just a coincidence. But it was too close to be regarded as an accident. If I were to look at it at another angle, maybe the bullet was either meant for Anastasia or for me. Your wedding to Elizabeth is coming in a few days. As that date draws near, I feel like I'm on death row. 
If I was marrying Grace, then I would be the happiest man on earth. I know that. What you are doing is a big sacrifice for you. To unwillingly turn your back at the woman you truly love. Mother already explained everything to me. She wants to be closer to Elizabeth. That is why I'm doing this. Elizabeth. How is our baby doing? Is it kicking already? This is not your baby and don't ever come near me or else I'll be the one to kick you. Wait, hold on, cool it. Everything's fine, Elizabeth. That's not good for the baby, you know. So who is it you think wants the both of you dead? Take your pick. Uncle Edward or Katarina? Well, you know I wouldn't be surprised if one of them was behind the shooting. But I won't allow anything bad to happen to Anastasia. I have my own suspicions from the people around her, especially this Harry Bautista. I know that she was the one who gave me this comfortable life. And I thought I was lucky. Turns out it came with a price. Andrew. You are a very obedient son. If I were the one to decide, I will not ask for you to make this great sacrifice. Grace. I'm already done with my chores outside. Do you want me to help you around here? Okay, would you rearrange all the newspapers and then let's just tie them up later because Madame Helena usually brings them to the recycling center. Mm. The wedding of Andrew to Elizabeth is in a few days, huh? How did you get in here anyway? Remember, I told you that we would talk, right? I already agree that you would marry that rich idiot. And so maybe you could possibly share with me the fortune that you will get. Oh, by the way... Hasn't Benny dug up any more... information about Harry at all? None so far, but... Don't worry, I will let you know as soon as he gets information. Charles... Are you still hoping that she's Diana? You know, William, I don't really care if she is Diana or Anastasia. All I know is that I love her. Now, if Harry's plotting something against her, I won't give him that chance. But you did not even make an objection. You and the rest of the world would leave me alone to face the consequence of being an obedient son. You don't have any right to me, to my child, nor have you any claim to my family's money. I'm a very reasonable person, Elizabeth. And I don't want to approach your precious Andrew to ask for an allowance. That's why I'm asking you directly. They really are a perfect match. They both come from rich and prominent families. Andrew's mother would definitely prefer Elizabeth over me. But didn't Andrew ask you to marry him first? You were even planning to elope. It did not even happen. Andrew stood me up and I never bothered to wait for him. And so now there they are about to get married. And with a baby on the way. Let go, you're hurting me. Nobody will get hurt if you will just give me what I want. I know that you are very considerate, Elizabeth. Generous at that. So I guess it won't be a problem if you would share some of your fortune with me. Will you let go of me now? People here are staring at us. How much do you need anyway? We're not safe here anymore. I'll find another safe place to hide father. Where are we going to move him? 
If only he were fully recovered, he can come out in the open, but until that happens, then we have to make sure our father's safe. Andrew, there's... there's one more important thing that I want you to know. I'm sorry. I won't be able to attend your wedding. Grandmother, that can't be. If you won't be there, then it's like saying you are against it. I have a different reason. I have a very important and significant matter to attend to that day. Grace already left me. And now you will do the same? The people I love are abandoning me. I want 50,000 every month. In your dreams, that's too much. It will never happen. Don't you feel any regret that Andrew did not fight for you? Mm, no. And besides, no matter what I do, Andrew and I can never be together, right? It's really because I'm poor. He and Elizabeth are a perfect match. I can't do anything about it now. We're really not meant for each other, Nato. Not even a chance. That's why you feel so much regret? Hmm? All right, then that is really up to you. Be thankful that I am dealing with you in a civilized manner. You give me my monthly allowance, and I will keep quiet. No one will even know of our agreement. Not even Andrew. And we all live happily ever after. Don't you dare come to Andrew about this. I would not even think of it. If you would start giving me my allowance. No matter what I do, there are many who object to our relationship. First this... Andrew's mother. And then there's Elizabeth. We're not meant to be. You tend to look so far away, you know? But I understand what you're going through. I could actually relate to your problem. That's why I'm here for you. A poor man for a poor woman. Maybe you have forgotten that we live in the same world, Grace. That's why for me, you and I are meant to be. If you would really think about it, you and I are a perfect match. But you see, right now, I just want to listen first to what my heart is telling me, Nato. Stephanie, is there something wrong? <sighs> Father, that blasted Adrian came by to bother me. He's asking me for money in exchange for his silence. He wants me to give him an allowance so he won't tell anything to Andrew. So what did you tell him? <sighs> I just gave him the money so he would stop bothering me. But I don't want this to keep on happening. Plus, my wedding to Andrew is drawing near and he might make a scene. It's too risky. Don't worry about it. That moron won't ruin your wedding. Leave everything to me. He'll be getting more than just a good beating. We'll be a sorry little dog from now on. Sir George, here's your tea. I see you enjoy listening to music, sir. But the music seems to have a very gloomy tune. My heart is the reason. It's struggling to be free. And the only thing that helps is music. Elizabeth, wait up. 
Where are you going? I'm just going to the gym. You can't wear sundresses while working out, you know. Isn't it bad for pregnant women to work out? <sighs> Andrew, there are light exercises suitable for pregnant women. And besides, don't you want me to still look sexy when we get married? You know, Grace, you're right. There are types of music that when you listen to it, you feel sad. And there are also types of music that are happy and fun. Especially if the person you're dancing with happens to be the love of your life. Yes. You know me and Helena? We were great dancers during our time. Really, sir? Especially with Helena. I believe that young people dance differently nowadays <laughs> compared to the way we danced during our time. There's a very big difference, right? What kind of dancing did you have? I'm proud to be pregnant. And I'm also excited to be a mother in a few months. I think your stomach's too big at two months pregnant. It looks like you're about to give birth next month. Are you sure that baby is only two months? Do you want me to demonstrate what I can do? Uh, no need. It's all right, no, sir. No, I insist. I would feel embarrassed. And besides, you might have a hard time. No, no, it's okay. I can do it, and I, I will be the one to lead you. Let us try, it won't hurt. Okay? I feel awkward. Are you sure you can handle it, sir? Yes, of course I can do it. Leave it to me. Remember this. Music is not only a good therapy for the body, but also for the soul. <laughs> there, that's it. Let's try it, okay? Okay, sir. There. I don't know how to dance, sir. Oh, Grace, I'm not as good a dancer as I was but before. But you are good, sir. Of course not. But I'm, I'm not, not as good, good at as bad of Helena. There. That's it. You're good at it, sir. No, I'm not. Remember, if the one you're dancing with is your true love, the music becomes even more beautiful. Okay? <laughs> good. Sir? Sir George? Yes. Andrew, don't you know how to count? I am only two months pregnant, so we will count to seven months before your baby comes out, right? And you're not even eating that much? Plus you're always throwing up? <sighs> but you don't watch over me 24 hours a day, right? So when you're not around, I tend to eat a lot more. Are you feeling all right? Do you want some tea or medicine? You're... Your pendant there. I had a dream about it. In my dream there, there was like a crib, a baby crib. But there was nothing inside. Is that the dream that Madame Helena usually talks about, sir? You better make sure that it's exactly nine months. Or else I'll get suspicious. Will you stop being so suspicious about it, Andrew? You got me pregnant. You should worry if my stomach doesn't grow at all. Yes, yes. Sir? George? Do you want to take your medicine? Let's go over there. Can you handle it, sir? Do you want us to go back to your room?
It's a good thing you added more security here at the Windsor. It's also for my own protection. Just in case the threats against me are true. I don't want to take it lightly, that's why. There are more bodyguards. I understand. You know what? I just came from Winston's funeral. It seems all his close friends and business associates couldn't believe that he has enemies. And I got to talk to the investigator. He told me that it's possible that the bullet was really meant for me and not the actual victim. It's possible the bullet was for me because I can't even imagine who would possibly want to kill you. I don't know either. Doctor, what do you think happened to him? He's had a relapse. It is possible that his brain stems were not able to handle too much stimuli from the memories that suddenly came back to him. Would it take a long time before he goes back to normal? There is no suspect. I am getting so confused. I've already told you before. You shouldn't trust anyone right away, especially people you only just met. You don't know what their motives are. Charles, are you referring to Harry? His injury was massive when he slipped into a coma. And until now, he has not yet regained his normal strength. It will take time, but it will happen. Here, Doctor, I brought you a drink. Thank I you. I also brought snacks. It's because... I really have a bad feeling about your friend. And I'm telling you this not because I'm jealous of him. I just don't trust him at all. Charles. In the short time that I have known Harry, I have not seen any reason at all for me not to trust him. It's just puzzling as to why. Harry's so determined to get close to you. I appreciate you thinking of my well-being, Charles. But I know you are very wrong about Harry. Grace, I have something to ask you. I hope you will answer me frankly. Okay, what is it? Are you still in love with Andrew? <sighs> Please, let's not talk about Andrew anymore, Nato. He's busy with his own life now, right? Let's just forget about him. Just because you don't see the person anymore doesn't mean that your feelings for him have already gone. Why are you asking me all this? Because it's something I can't understand. That person has done a lot of things to you. He hurt you so many times already. And you still can't forget him? You know what, Nato? I think it's you who can't let go. And what do you care anyway, if I'm not yet healed from the wound that Andrew had given me? But how will that wound of yours heal when every time it gets well, you peel off the scab again, so the wound gets deeper, and then it would add to- Did I ever tell you to get your hopes up? Did I tell you to? I didn't, right? If you cannot stand waiting for me, if you cannot stand waiting until I forget all about him, then it's best if you would just forget about me.
Are you on a diet, Elizabeth? Is that why you're just eating vegetables? You know that this is the best time to really eat just about anything and other people won't ever tell you that you have a large appetite. <laughs> well, actually, Auntie, my doctor said it's okay to eat more vegetables so I won't get gestational diabetes. It's better to be safe. I will do everything so that my baby will become healthy. If I don't take care of myself, who will take care of my baby? Aren't you, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry, but doesn't Andrew take care of you? I mean, that's why you're both getting married, right? Elizabeth, what's wrong? Dora? Katarina? <gasps> mother! Mother! I was able to get some of this fruit from our neighbors so we can mix it with our lunch. Mother, is something wrong? Are you and Andrew having problems? Why no, Auntie? Uh, I didn't want to say anything to you, but... I think Andrew is abusing himself. He is always drinking himself to death. I already told him to stop drinking, and I actually begged him not to. Elizabeth. <sighs> Andrew made a promise to me. He promised me that he will marry you. I just want to be the best wife for him. But why can't he realize that? Do you really love Andrew? Auntie, I really, really love Andrew. I don't know what I will do if he disappears from my life. But he's destroying himself. So please, can you talk to him? Just please, bring back the Andrew I fell in love with. Elizabeth, there are times when my son needs to be left alone. And I do not meddle in his affairs, especially when it seems to be personal. But because this is for his future, and for the baby's welfare as well, all right, I will go and talk to him. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie. It's nothing, Beck Beck. I... I just remembered something. A bad memory. What is it, Mother? Beck Beck, I think I need... I think it's time that I should tell you what I know about what happened. I can't continue to hide this any longer. Love me instead. I promise you this. You will never cry if you love me instead. Isn't he the guy who was following you at the Windsor? How do you know him? Is he your boyfriend, huh? Andrew, let's go through with a wedding. Becca, where's Madame Helena? They took Sir George with them. They said they're going to a wedding. Helena, are you sure you're ready to talk to Edward? I've been preparing for this moment for a long time now. I want to get even with him so badly. He will pay for all that he's done to us. And now it's time for you to pay your dues. Why, Madame Helena? Do I owe you anything? Tell us! Who is your accomplice? Who? Was everything that I heard true, Elizabeth? Aunt. We need to return to the mansion at once. Grace, you're coming with us. But if Elizabeth isn't my real daughter, then who is? 